find the trig ratios in a right triangle, and for this we're going to use the mnemonic SOKATOA. SOKATOA tells us that the sine ratio is the ratio of the opposite leg to the hypotenuse, cosine is the adjacent leg to the hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite leg to adjacent leg. So first of all, inside of the triangle drawn we have a hypotenuse of 13 and a side of 12. One of the legs is 12. So first we should try to figure out what the other leg is and in this circumstance this is actually one of the famous right triangles of the 5, 12, 13. But in case you weren't sure maybe we'll just label that with a B down there and say 12 squared 12 squared plus B squared equals 13 squared and this would allow us to be able to solve for what we need here so doing our calculations 144 plus b squared equals 169 subtracting 144 would say b squared is 25 and so you can see that b must be 5 so down here I'll label this with a 5 so we have a 5 12 13 so as we go into calculating the ratios I'm going to do all six just so we can see where they're all coming from. The sine is the opposite to the hypotenuse. So from the angle that's marked in the lower left here, the opposite side is 12 and the hypotenuse is 13. So the sine ratio is 12 to 13. For the cosine, so ka to a ka means we need the adjacent side, which is 5, and we need the hypotenuse, which is 13. And then finally, for the toa, from that angle in the bottom left, we want the toa, so we want the opposite over the adjacent. So we take the 12, which is opposite, and we put that over 5, which is the adjacent. So that's the so ka toa for the sine, cosine, and tangent. For the cosecant, secant, and cotangent, the reciprocals, they are reciprocals of the other trig ratios. So I have them lined up so I can just flip each one over from side to side here. 12 over 13 means cosecant is 13 over 12. Cosine of 5 over 13 means that secant is 13 over 5. And since the tangent is 12 over 5, our cotangent will simply be a 5 over a 12. Okay, pause the video and see if you can do this next problem similarly. Here we have a triangle with a 10 and an 8, and we're going to find the missing side together now, assuming you took a shot on your own here. Let's call that missing side there. Let's call that a B. Missing side is a leg, so I'll call it uh, either A or B, but I'll call it B this time. So we have 8 squared plus B squared. B squared is equal to the 10 squared. So that would mean that 64 plus B squared is equal to 100. Subtracting 64 from both sides means b squared should be 36, and that of course would mean that b is equal to 6. So here we have the 6, 8, 10 triangle. Again, nice numbers. It's actually a 3, 4, 5 doubled in size. So, assuming that you got that, that would have been the first step to ensure that you get the problem correct. And the next step is to just set up our ratios. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So from the angle here, the opposite over hypotenuse would be 6 over 10, which reduces to 3 over 5. So I'm going to call this one a 3 over 5 ratio, because I'll do that one in black here, 3 over 5. For the cosine, we have adjacent over hypotenuse, so that would be an 8 over a 10. And again, this one reduces 2, divide by 2 and divide by 2 to give me a 4 over 5. For the tangent, we need the opposite over the adjacent. So this time we're going to take a 6 and put that over an 8 based on the fact that the theta is in the bottom right hand corner. And yet again, this reduces, so that's a 3 over 4. So now to get the other three trig functions, or trig ratios, we just reciprocal our original answers, 5 thirds, 5 fourths, four thirds and that is all of the trig ratios in this right triangle.